Hey guys, welcome back. BG Scare here. We're back with our weekly recap for all things Injustice. This is the week of April 23rd, 2020. The current character challenge is Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, and that's a one week repeat. The required characters for that are Sinestro, Black Adam, and Batman, who are bronze, silver, and gold, respectively. So, not great if you don't already have them, but for sort of intermediate players, you know, there's a decent chance that you'll have right. at least all these characters. And, worst case scenario, if you have money, you can still at least buy them all in the store. Right, right. Uh, passive is this one's for Mr. J, which is when the enemy tags in, Harley may perform a surprise attack if she is tagged out. If the Joker is knocked out on Harley's team, she gains full power. Uh, attack 1100 and health uh, flat 1000. Mm -hmm. uh, she was last available September 2019, and she's got decent middle class stats, and more of it is in the attack, which is what we like. And like all the Harleys, she's a great support character. She's able to heal her teammates. She's not the strongest Harley, because I think Suicide Squad Harley Quinn is, but she's fun because she's an entry hazard. Mm -hmm. And that part of her passive where she does damage to an opponent tagging in can be very useful on a defensive team. We've got a link in the description of a video that demonstrates just how much fun she is. Yeah. The second part... Or is that the first part? Yeah, the second part of her passive, where she gains full power when a Joker's knocked out, can also be fun. It sort of, like, makes every Joker a killing joke Joker. Yeah. Um, but that's less helpful when you've got the option of using Tantu Totem on her. Yeah, because gaining the power in the first place isn't right. as important. Right. And even before the Tantu Totem, it's a hard sort of strategy to maximize that part of her passive, right? Because if you're leaving the Joker out to get knocked out, then... Um, he's either he's knocked out really fast mm -hmm. and then she gets all the power and he's useless or if he takes a while before you get knocked out she's gaining power when she's not on screen anyways yeah your ideal sort of setup would be to have uh the joker in get low swap into harley use all of her power and then swap back as quickly as possible to the joker yeah. to let the joker get knocked out which is not going to come up a lot and it's a much longer fight yeah um so if you give her tantu totem what's neat actually is if you give her tantu totem and she happens to do that surprise attack where she she does the the entry hazard damage. She generates a bar of power even though she doesn't stay. So she comes in, wow. gets a bar of power, comes back out, and she's actually got an extra bar of power. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so she's got extra hits on her combo ender, and that helps her take advantage of any gears that have a combo ender effect. So she's, mm -hmm. she's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, this week's multiplayer reward is the Sengoku helmet, which becomes the Batman Ninja helmet. And when it's fully maxed out, you get 40% max health increase. Uh, for every 5% of available power, damage received is reduced by 2.3%. A Batman-specific ability, for every 10% of available power, crit chance is increased by 3%. And then the Evolved ability, which is 50% chance to resist power drain. Right. Uh, last available October of 2019, it's the 29th in a row that matches... Or sorry, it's the 30th in a row that matches the previous multiplayer rewards pattern. Uh, it's one of the two. It's one of the two. Um, so that's a closed loop. It's a repeating cycle. It's missing Tantu Totem, Claw of Horus, and Necron Scythe, which I think are the most important missing ones. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good tank defensive gear, and there's two of them that are sort of synergistic, right? Where you get um, you reduce damage received based on how much power you have, and it's got the ability to resist power drain. Mm. Um, so generally, we don't lean on defensive gears. And we originally had it, though, on our loadout when New 52 Superman was a member of our Justice League team who we swapped out for Flashpoint Batman for the value of speed yeah. in uh, Phantom uh, tasks. Because with New 52 Wonder Woman giving power, his passive by itself makes him a really good defensive force. So the gear slots, we used him to make him almost invulnerable. Mm -hmm. But the problem with that is, and why it's no longer part of our Justice League loadout, is that to get the best benefit of both the abilities... Mm -hmm. You know, reduce damage, crit chance, increase your Batman. You By can't up use your to power. Yeah. yeah, you can't use your power. You're you're actually um, the biggest offensive potential in your character. You're you're not taking advantage of it. But I mean, the cool thing is, at least with the helmet, the the abilities are in line with each other. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's it's still pretty good gear. It definitely deserves to be a legendary four and a half star gear. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's an interesting, interesting trade-off right. that definitely makes you play in a non-standard way, which on a base level I like. I just don't think it was quite powerful enough to justify right. uh, the trade-off of not using specials. Right. In the store, we have the Arkham Origin Joker bundle, 
that's for 25 Canadian dollars. And so it's the version that does come with credits. So you get 100,000 credits with it. It's not the half price version that right. comes with just the character. Uh, so that's probably what next week's character challenge is. Uh, we don't generally recommend buying the character packs, especially because right. you're just about to get an opportunity right. to play for them. Right. So the Women Power character bundle is kind of weird too, right? Like they've gotten into this habit now of doing stuff that's either going to be available sooner or is available this week. So Arkham Knight Harley Quinn, in it, otherwise, um, when it's not her week for the yeah. the challenge. Pretty good. <laughs> she'd be pretty good. Like you get two challenge characters, twenty six ninety nine. It's not as cheap as the eleven ninety nine for single, but um, you know, it's it's not awful. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about this pack is that the gear that comes with for Wonder Woman, it's her it's a Dawn of Justice gear. And I, I know it's not labeled Dawn of Justice, but it's the one that's not the regular Amazonian Sword and Shield. It was the one that came when Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman was released. Yeah, released which is, concurrently. Yeah, it was her Wonder Woman's Lariat, which becomes a lasso of truth. Mm -hmm. In Survivor, we have the Lex Luthor gear set until the 6th of May, 2020. Uh, but it's it's been weird, right? Or yeah. sorry, uh, Lex Core gear set, not Lex Luthor. Yeah. Um, but it's been weird because it's been inconsistent with us and other people and the timing has been off yeah uh so so i think this for yeah. this account like there's just too many people who have different things going on yeah so yeah so it might not be worth it we're sort of just listing to people what our own personal gear yeah. is currently which yeah. is not particularly useful uh we also have one more week in phantom zone and fight 62 is still broken all right last week's last weekend's breakthrough was Lex Luthor, Batman, and Doomsday. So based on schedule, likely this weekend is going to be Bane, Killer Frost, and Ares. Mm -hmm. And as always in the description, there's a link to a Reddit thread where Devlin16 has written everything out uh, for you to look at and see what's coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on to the current glitches, just remember that every working glitch is explained in a playlist that you can reach by clicking the eye in the top right corner of this video uh we are android only so we're only able to confirm via our per first hand experience right. glitches for android but we will talk about uh stuff that is functional for ios when yeah. we have sort of good uh information on right. that from our viewers yeah spoiler alert this week nothing is new nothing's changed mm -hmm. and so we'll start with the significant not working glitches and when i say significant i mean it's i guess it's almost self-explanatory we've been doing it for so long I mean, it seems obvious is that there are glitches that used to exist or glitches that conceptually are important that we can't do anymore or just aren't available. Mm -hmm. uh, so the biggest one is people looking for a glitch for power credits. There is not one that we're willing to endorse. And we explain this in more detail in a previous episode of what is now our Q&A, but which used to be our P and Q and C and A and T, season six, episode nine. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the main thrust of it is that when you've got... Um, two devices logged into one account simultaneously, we feel that there's too much of a risk of having your account suspended. I wonder if those background birds are going to get picked up. If so, they're having a real conversation out there. No kidding. Um, yeah, so the glitch for getting repeated uh, past multiplayer season rewards is not working. Getting it early in a way that's useful to you is not working. People are having it glitch out on them, and it looks like there might be a strategy worth exploiting, but mm -hmm. it triggers too quickly before you can actually rank up in the season yeah so sure you can get your rewards early but who wants anything less than five percent yeah uh, there is five. no glitch to get through the phantom zone quickly but there is a strategy to get through the phantom zone quickly oh we should have it up for this weekend we've got a yeah. we've got a new video about uh doing a couple of phantom zone speed runs where we talk a lot about the strategies mm -hmm. uh and the free energy without having to watch the video glitch no longer works because there's no button to even watch the video in the first place so there's right. no skipping it to be done right uh, and in terms of working glitches, uh, glitch let you play Phantom Zone repeatedly is still working, and the challenge reset method that requires Google Play Cloud Save is still working, and that's tested and confirmed on Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. The reason why we mention them together is it's pretty much the same method. If you are resetting one, you reset both, so be ready and aware every time that you're resetting either that you want right. to reset both. Right, right. Uh, and we've cut and pasted a comment from viewer Jonathan Yang, who is on an Apple device, and he explains how to reset the challenge on an iOS. Mm -hmm. We can't tell you if it works or not, except that a lot of people have been saying they, it does. We just can't test it ourselves is really it. Mm -hmm. uh, the breakthrough glitch, let you play it repeatedly, is still working. And the airplane mode slash refund glitch is still working. It's good for both packs with random drops, also known as loot boxes, and last laugh tickets. And it does not work 
for Android at least, for re-rolling the last uh, crystal uh, on in Phantom Zone because it requires an online connection, although people have been reporting that it somehow works on iOS. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Uh, time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges. As always, return your clock back to normal before you finish messing around with time. Uh, and last but not least, in between the not working and working glitches, we have the promotion glitch where it can promote characters that are still locked. Uh, has not had the right conditions since update 2.14, so it's not testable, not usable, but we're keeping it in because we are picky about this sort of thing, and it has not been shown not to work. There has never been a time where the conditions are correct and the glitch has failed. Right. All right, so, and that's it for this week. So uh, thank you very much to our patrons on Patreon. That is Console Peasant and Ed Woon at the top tier last word, Mohammed Abshady at the Your Message Here tier, Sean Farrell, Daniel Simonson, Aaron Mall, Michael DeVries, and Brandon C., who are supporting us on the credited level, and Chris Wolf and Scarlet Envy at the gratitude level. There we go. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Komoda! Komoda.